Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome back to another episode of Every Effect in Adobe Premiere Pro Explained. In this video, we're going to be covering the five effects in the image control section. To start off, we have black and white, quite self-explanatory, and there's not really any controls that you have in the effects control panel. It simply does a black and white transformation on the image and you have your usual masking options if you wanted to. So the next one we have is color balance. Just gives you a red, green, and blue adjustment and using red, green, blue color theory, you know, if we put more red in there, it's gonna be more red. If we put less green, it's gonna mix up those color channels. Probably not my first choice for color grading or color adjusting. It's quite simple of a tool, but you have a basic RGB color balance if you ever need it. The next thing we have is color pass. This is pretty interesting. It's similar to leave color. It'll desaturate the image, but it'll kind of pass over one color of your choice. So in this case, if I do red, I can increase the similarity, which is kind of like the tolerance of what kind of reds. And in this way, it'll make everything black and white except for that color. It's a little bit harsher than the leave color tool found under the color correction folder just because you can't really adjust the softness of the edge when you're doing similarity. But depending on the video clip, it might be useful for you if you need to isolate a certain color. Going along with that, we have color replace. Again, this is similar to something in the color correction panel, which is change color and change to color. But in this one, you can choose a target color and choose something to replace it with. So if we choose everything, let's say in the green section, we can even use the ink dropper to get that exact green and replace that with, let's say, pink. If I increase the similarity a little bit, you should see that start to happen. But that's the color replace tool. All of these have been pretty simple so far. And then lastly, gamma correction. This just allows us to adjust the brightness of an image. It starts out by 10 by default. You can increase it all the way up to 28 for a dark look or lower it down to one for a bright look. Gamma increases and decreases the brightness by trying to influence the mid-tones of an image. But those are the five effects in the image control section. And in the next video in the series, I'm going to be going over the immersive video section, probably some of the coolest effects. So if you're not yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for all my new videos. And you can find all of the episodes of this series in a playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you over in the next video.